What's going on guys? It is Bernardo and today is all about how to secure a new Windows server. So let's get right into it. Okay, so securing a new Windows server, I know a lot of us have like a to-do list. So I am going to go over some of the common stuff that you should be doing when you set up a new server. It could be a physical server or a virtual server, okay? So let's get right into it. So on your desktop, we are going to right click on the start menu. We are going to go to run and within the run command, we are going to type in regedit.exe and hit OK. Now within the reg editor, we are going to go into the following address, which is going to point to the RDP TCP, right? So the first thing that we need to do is change the default port number for your RDP. Now by default, it is 3389. Yes, 3389. So within this hive, uh, if you go inside RDP TCP and you locate the registry key called port number, if you double click on it, by default, it's going to show you the hexadecimal form. So if you click on decimal, it will give you 3389. So I recommend that you change that, all right? Because by default, every Windows machine has that RDP port number. Now, another feature to change to secure your Windows server and on your desktop, we are gonna right click on your start menu and then click on run. And we are going to type in the following. When you click okay, it's going to open up the local user and group manager. Now, I always like to disable or create new accounts within my Windows server. Uh, there's always a couple of accounts that are enabled by default, like administrator, I would disable that, give it something else. And then the next thing that we need to do is go inside groups and provide that particular account that you created, uh, the groups that it needs or the permission that it needs to have on this server. Now the next one on the list, if we click on the start menu and we type in firewall, we are going to click on the Windows Defend the Firewall with advanced security. Now within here, you need to block incoming and outgoing ports. Now there are some ports that you should have open by default, depending on what type of service you are running within your Windows server. Now those ports are the following. You have 80443, if you're running a Windows server web server, right? Uh, if you're running a database, depends on what type of database. For SQL, it is 1433. For MySQL, it is 3306. And again, like we went over, RDP is 3389. And I kind of recommend that you change it within the reg editor. But make sure you open that port that you provided on that key inside your firewall. Now, the next one is a pretty simple one. If you do a Windows I to open up the Windows settings, we are going to go inside updates and security. Number one thing is make sure that your server is fully up to date. That's pretty easy. Now, the last one is your Windows security. So if you click on Windows security right here on your left hand side, it takes you here. Now, by default, Windows servers have a uh, Windows Defender by default. It's free. Uh, Microsoft does keep the definitions, the virus definitions up to date. It all depends if you're keeping your machine up to date. You are able to disable this and install something that you trust to kind of defend your server from anti-malware or viruses, but it's really up to you. Now, from here, if you click on open Windows security, it gives you a nice glance of what's being protected within your Windows server. Now, again, this is just like a basic list. There's a lot of other things that you could do to secure your Windows server. I wanna know what you do on your server at the bottom of the comment section. And that's it, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit that thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, and do not forget about hitting that notification bell to get the latest and greatest from this guy. And I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.